What's up, manly men? And you ladies watching as well. Welcome back to Doing Man Stuff. We're taking a little trip, me and my sidekick this afternoon. I'm driving, so I can't, uh, I can't look at the camera too much. We are headed to one of my favorite places, one of his favorite places too. We're going to the Military Surplus Store. Now, these places are treasure troves. They're all a little bit different. Some are great, some are not quite so great. But uh, the one that we have here in San Antonio that we go to um, is absolutely incredible. There's This one is, is kind of in a warehouse type building and uh, being that it is in that type of building, it's quite a bit larger than what you would see normally. There's so many sections to the store, so, so many pockets of treasures in there. And um, man, for people that do prepping, for people that do survival uh, type of activities, man, this is a gold mine. This is a place where you can get every single thing you can think of, everything that you need for survival, for, uh, for taking care of yourself and the elements, uh, even for uh, hunkering down in your house and having the things that you need to survive at home. This is the place where you can find just about anything that you need. Isn't that right, Jack? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we're gonna go, we're gonna show you a few of the things that we find in uh, in this military surplus store here in San Antonio. Find, I really encourage you to find a place like this uh, wherever you live and just go and scope it out and see what you can find there. It'll kind of give you an idea of what you have available to you and then where you might need to supplement that at other stores. Anyway, we're gonna be there in just a few minutes and I'll get back to you. All right, guys, we are in our favorite spot. This is the military surplus store that I was telling you about just a moment ago. Guys, absolute treasure trove, like I said. I'm going to show you some of the treasures that you could find in this place, so stick with it. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, he looks, he's found a canteen he likes. This first thing I wanted to show you is some of the items that you can find here. Tons of different compass options, some sanitation. What I wanted you to see first of all is one of the most useful items that you can see here. There's tons and tons of ways to start fires. Fire starters, magnesium, some of the stuff you can see in the grocery store, obviously here, refuelers for your, uh, like for your Zippo lighters. But there's tons of things like this. And if you move down here a little bit further, you can see uh, other options like ferrocerium rods and matchstick fire starters and various and sundry things. Picked up one of these the other day, just a great size uh, fire starter and striker. Lots and lots of options. There's also things to hold, hold your matches in and waterproof options, survival whistles, things like that. This, this kind of place has hundreds and hundreds of options that you'll never find anywhere else and it is absolutely fantastic so you want to build your fire starting kit this is the place to do it. all right guys the other thing i wanted to show you is at a surplus store like this they have an abundance of first aid and trauma and wound supplies you can see complete first aid kits all over the place components of first aid kits, you got splints, Israeli bandages over here, just your basic stuff, wound dressings, scissors, everything you could possibly want. There's tourniquets down there, of course. Gotta be careful with those, but anything that you could possibly want in order to put together a first aid kit for survival or even for your house, you can find it in this amazing place. All right, guys, this is another one of my very favorite things about this place. In this room have food. And specifically, when you're thinking of the military, you're thinking of MREs, well, all the different components of MREs. They even got coffee, matches, and other stuff that you would find in, uh, in packs in a military setting. They even have the great Black Rifle Coffee guys go and follow black rifle coffee go and buy black rifle coffee those are the best people that is the best company and that coffee is amazing anyway 
I don't get paid to say that. I just like them a lot. Here's all these MREs. They're, they're about 10 bucks a piece. So that's pretty good usually uh, to see that. And then there's some more components of those MREs, but they've got a whole room devoted to this in the in this store. And uh, man, if you're building bug out bags, if you're just building quick 72 hour survival kits, a lot of times this is a really good option for what you can put in that bag. Some of this stuff is pretty dang tasty too. And then of course they've got, um, in the other room, they got some foldable uh, utensils and plates and bowls and cups and that kind of stuff. And they have some more of that stuff in here as well. Yeah. So just no end to the awesomeness in a store like this. There's gloves of all kinds. This is one of those really important things. These are those ponchos that we talk about in our setting quite a bit. There's a million uses for a good poncho and military grade ones are amazing. So shelters, of course, keeping yourself warm, but uh, sleeping bags, of course, in a, in a place like this. And the other thing really that we should talk about too is that there's clothes and clothes and clothes and clothes and clothes for days. A lot of them, uh, oh yeah, he's showing me that there was some rope that we were looking for. But the, there's so many clothing options here. A lot of it's used and that doesn't mean the quality is bad. But uh, I'm gonna tell you what, if you're looking for stuff that's durable, rugged, that'll stand up to the elements, if you're a hunter, if you just like that kind of stuff, man, they just, there's no end to the options in a place like this. Oh yeah, by the way, for those of you who like the high velocity hole punches, you know what I'm talking about. They even have some carry belts, tactical belts, so that you can properly carry those things on your person. Yeah, and packs and packs, camel packs, water packs, other rucksacks and duffels, tons of backpacks. This one, this store has a little bit more than you would find in most places, but there's tons and tons and tons and a bunch of cast offs. I mean, you got a lot of holsters here, side pouches. Tons and tons of components for if you want to set up a belt, if you want to set up a pack, then all the things you might want to hang off of there, you can get all of that stuff here. They always have bins like this, which is a bunch of, bunch of random stuff. There's some other MREs that have already been field stripped, a little cheaper that way. It's kind of awesome. Um, some more manuals, things like this. And there's always curiosity items and fun things that catch young folks' attention. Uh, if you look over there, you can see more. You can see more items. You can see more items that go along with your high-velocity hole punches. Tons and tons of boots, and things like that. This place, as I said, is a treasure trove. All right, guys, this is the final room in this place. It seems like it just goes on forever, but all kinds of, all kinds of clothing, hats. There's more packs back here, but you've got racks and racks and rows and rows, BDUs, etc. You can see all the different all the different styles, flight suits, and we've got thermal, everything back here. I mean, everything you could possibly want. As I said, all the different styles, all your different camouflage patterns. You even got the blue. I don't know what I'm talking about. And uh, compared to, uh, here, here's the, all the dress uniforms here too. There's, there's my boy. He's gonna get me with his bull whip now. <laughs> so, uh, everything that you can think of just about, they have in this place. Absolutely love it. All right, guys, we finished up our trip to the military surplus store. So many treasures, hardly even get this guy out of there. It's a lot of fun, just a lot, uh, just so many ideas and so many ways you could take that. I only got one thing today. I got this uh, this match container. This one's a nice one. It's got a little flint 
a flint rod and a, there's a mirror in there. Um, a little striker for matches and whatnot. It's meant to be a waterproof container for matches. It's probably something you should have in your fire starter kit. Anyway, three bucks. Remember I told you not to go crazy. Just get one item at a time, couple items at a time, so you don't overwhelm yourself, so you don't drain all your budget. It's a really easy thing to do, and ever so slowly, one item after another, your inventory builds, and before you know it, you've got everything that you need. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you some ideas. Maybe uh, search out an Army, Army Navy surplus store in your area. Keep doing man stuff. I hail you happy in the Lord.